Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. So, where have I been? Let me catch you up. I'm sorry I have been absent, but life just gets in the way. My husband retired and it is not easy to record videos with him home. Um, so my life is changing a little bit and I'm going to try to get on here and make videos whenever I can when he's out of the house. But uh, recording with him in the house isn't easy. But let me catch up and tell you what I've been doing. This year I threw a great big Christmas party. When I do it I kind of go all out and I tried to make everybody's gifts and so I was sewing up a storm on um, on de in December and I was wore out. It took me a month to recuperate from everything I got done for my Christmas party. So I think Granny's going to have to really slow down on her Christmas parties. But uh, I've only been doing them like every two years now because they just really wear me out. And it's because I do it to myself. It's no other reason but I think I've got to sew a gift for everybody or have games and cooking and baking and so that wore me out and that took a little bit out of me plus then he retired um he ret he retired in december but he officially retired from the job in january but he had so much vacation uh built up that he really got to take the whole month of december off and he you know how husbands are they're just underfoot i don't i can walk out of the room and he says what are you doing where are you going Whatever I do, he's right behind me. What are you doing? What? Oh, I'm ready to choke him. <laughs> but anyway, so my recording and my uh, video making will probably be a lot less uh, just with him home. So uh, he adds a little more work to life. <laughs> you can clean the house and a few minutes later, it's like a kid. It's, you know, like pick up after yourself. I don't know. But anyway, so... He finally got to retire, so I'm happy for him. Uh, but let me tell you, I have been sewing. Uh, I've made a couple bags. I do not have them, but I will post pictures of everything that I've made at the end of the video. So if you want to see what I've made, uh, stay to the end of the video. But I did make a couple bags. My niece is going to New Orleans for uh, vacation at the end of February, and she needed a little bag to you know put around her so her arms are free and stuff but uh, so i made a couple bags to let her pick from uh i made christmas presents like i said and i'm not sure if i showed you but i'll try to go back to my old video and if i got pictures of what the some of the things that i've made i will post them at the end of the video too uh i just made this last week this is the luma 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 hoodie from itch to stitch i think it's llama llama hoodie from itch to stitch but i had a lunch date with my niece uh last saturday and i wanted to make me something to wear and i do this is a stretchy corduroy here and i have a pair of pants that match that i made a couple years ago so now i have a leisure uh jumpsuit kind of i put the hood on or the cowl neck on a little crooked but you know it isn't bothering me I'm not uh, one of them perfectionists and when I'm moving you're not gonna know it but uh, so I made this and I really like it I did a size 14 I've gained some weight back you can see uh, holidays do that but I'll lose I'll lose I'll gain I'll gain I don't care anymore <laughs> I'm happy that's all I can say I'm happy so uh, I really like this. I will want to, I'm going to want to make another one of these. And uh, right now I'm working on, because my sisters and I are going uh, on our Valentine luncheon next week after Valentine's. But I wanted to make me a top. So I'm making the, this is four out of, four out of five pattern. And it is the Camellia uh, top. It's a cowl neck, which you know I love cowl necks. So I'm working on that and hope to have this all sewed by today and uh, have it ready for next Wednesdays when we're going out to lunch. So hope to have that done. Uh, besides that, uh, I'm slowly getting back down in my sewing room. 
uh, let me tell you what I got for Christmas and I'm going to show you pictures of what I did. Uh, my husband's always wanted a grandfather clock. Well, we don't have room for it. I really don't want a grandfather clock. The bonging and donging kind of annoys me at night. So if I had to have a grandfather clock, it would have been in where I sleep and drive me nuts. But we kind of sleep in different rooms. <laughs> He's a snorer, you know, and you know you need your sleep. But anyway, so I got him a grandfather clock, but it hangs on the wall in the kitchen. And uh, he just loved it. That's what he got for Christmas. And he says, what do, you, what do I want for Christmas? Well, I wanted wood. Uh, I want shelves down in my utility room down here so I can uh, store my Christmas decorations and all my holiday decorations and have them organized. And we bought, he went and bought me shelves, but they were so thin. They probably would have only lasted a couple years with, and then they would start sinking. So I said, I wanted wood and I built me some shelves. So that was something that kept me busy. So I'll show you pictures at the end of the shelves that I built to uh, organize more because I'm still trying to organize down here. I'm starting to declutter. I'm starting to get rid of real estate that, doesn't uh, serve me any purpose anymore. So <laughs> grandkids and kids can go through holiday decorations that I don't want no more. And uh, otherwise I'm getting a dumpster this spring and a lot of stuff is getting going. It's, I'm, I don't want it no more. I haven't seen it in 10 years. I don't need it here. So if the kids don't want it, either do I. And you know what I realized they don't want my memories of my Christmas decorations. They might want to think here or there, but uh, they want to make their own memories and stuff. So that kind of hit home a little bit thinking, oh, I'm going to pass all this stuff down to my kids and grandkids. And they don't want our stuff. They want their own stuff. So I don't want it anymore <laughs> and I'm not saving it for them. So I'm getting rid of it and cleaning house and deep decluttering and uh, so I've been doing that slowly uh, so I built my shelves so I've been busy uh, I'm starting to sew again let's see oh and then I got into uh, bread making uh, I got into this group where they do the sourdough you know you make your starter and stuff and I've been making sourdough bread and bagels and English muffins and I've been doing all kinds of things with sourdough. I started my very own sourdough and I'm real proud about that. So I'll show you pictures of my breads and my uh, bagels and all that at the end of the video. So I have been keeping myself fairly busy, just not recording because when you do YouTube, you constantly got to think what you're going to tell you folks, what I'm making. Then I got to spend another two, three hours editing. So it really takes up a lot of time. And I find when it, I'm taking all my time doing videos, I'm not, I'm not living. <laughs> I'm just trying to always think, what am I going to do for YouTube? How, then all the time it takes to edit. And you know, I kind of noticed that it was taking time away from God too. And um, I had to get right. And sometimes you got to take things away that's taken away from me and God. So I have to sit back and say, I love YouTube. I love all you guys, but I have to love Jesus more. And when I'm neglecting him to do what I enjoy, it's kind of not good. So I'm trying to get back with God, close with God and spend more time with him. And um, I hope you all understand, but I'm going to try to get some videos made and show you some of the progress that I'm doing and what my sewing journey and my uh, sewing room. And, you know, April's been coming over. She's making a quilt, so I'm still trying to get some quilting done. Uh, but anyway, I think I covered about everything. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a beautiful holidays and um I don't know. I'm I'm just slowly getting through them. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, and I had no idea. I had no idea it was Valentine's Day, because with him retired, I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. <laughs> so it just they're all just blended together, and they're going so fast. Oh my goodness, it seems like time's going fast. But uh, 
As you notice, I'm letting my hair grow long. I want to see what it's like to do my hair long and just put it up. And uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm just trying new things. Just, I'm really, uh, what I'm really doing <laughs> is just letting things go. And I'm trying to get back on track and say, listen, I like long hair. So I'm going to keep my long hair for a while until it really drives me nuts. And then I'll probably do some cutting on it but if it looks shabby sometimes or I just have it up sorry sorry you're not here to see what I look like well maybe you are but I'm not here to impress anybody I'm just here to share what I'm doing uh, share my sewing journey my building journey my baking journey my embroidery journey what my quilting journey I'm just here to share that with you and hope you like that and uh and just kind of keep you informed of what I'm doing in life. So, I, you know I got rid of my chickens. My husband thinks he's going to do it, but he's not real motivated to do something every day. So, uh, I don't know if he's going to do it or not. But uh, if he does, I'll let you know, and I'll show you the new chickens if we get them. But Granny's not doing chickens. I've It's much easier for me to go to a local farmer here and buy two or three dozen each month than me going out there every day, falling down the stairs, and probably cheaper in the long run doing it that way. So, uh, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first, because you are in God's eyes. And um, I have to keep telling myself that, too, as, you know, sometimes we just get in a rut, and we just have a rough time getting out of that rut and uh, that's kind of where I've been just I'm staying busy but I'm still kind of in that little rut and I am I am hoping with spring around the corner I go to lunches with my sisters and uh, I'm looking maybe to get in a quilting group uh, to get out of the house a little bit more partly because my husband's pushing me out of the house because I want to get out from underneath his foot and let him <laughs> not know what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> so I guess it's it's going to be an adjustment to have your husband home every single day. And uh, so I'm, I'm adjusting. So bear with me and I will try to get some uh, videos up as often as I possibly can. And show you what I'm uh, sewing. So once again, my llama, I think it's llama hoodie from Itch to Stitch. Oop. Oop. But uh, there you have it. I love the pockets. Uh, it's a real stretchy material, so I made it a little too big. Next one, I'm going to make a little smaller. So I see my camera's ready to go off. So you guys have a wonderful day. God bless. Go do something creative, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. This will be my Valentine outfit. I just got to put the sleeves on, put the bands, uh, cuffs on in the bottom band, and uh, she's done. So this is the Camille top from four out of five.
Now these are the shelves I built. This was my Christmas present. I wanted wood. I know, weird. But uh, now I can organize all my uh, holiday and pictures and all my all my stuff. So I reused those shelves. I tore a entertainment center apart and kept all the shelving and reused them. Put all my snowmen up there. Then I added shelves to the beam up there so I can put all the things that I hang up without laying it flat. But uh, yep, I built those shelves myself for Christmas. Not perfect, but they're going to last until I die. And my tools I put on this plastic shelf. All my power tools. There's my Christmas tree. I just wrap it up and leave everything on it. And then over there is a mess. It's all going to the dumpster. And then I have my table saw or whatever kind of saw you call that over there. And let's see. I hung these shelves up as well above my deep freeze. I'm going to hang another set of shelves over there for my canned goods. And this is just kind of my food storage over here. But, uh... Work in progress, a little at a time. All my canning stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. God bless. See you soon.